my name is Megan Anderson. I'm an extension field agronomist with Iowa State University and I'm here today to offer you a couple tips uh, for being able to better dig up uh, seedling plants in the spring when we're out doing our scouting. So the first tip is that it's always a really good idea to use a flat bottom spade, right? We can use trowels or regular spades. They do a great job of getting in the ground, but the cool thing about using a flat bottom spade is that we can really easily feel if there's a compaction layer uh, that's going to be right below where our plants are trying to come up. Believe me, when you're my size, you definitely can feel it. Um, but a lot of times in the spring, we try to investigate, right, when there are gaps in the row. We've got a corn plant here, and a corn plant over here and we've got a big gap where there's no corn plants coming up or you might want to actually just dig up a seedling and check it out. Some people will go in um, to the side of the row parallel to it uh, when they're digging. I actually like to go in perpendicular to the row instead and dig up like kind of where I think that corn plant is going to be and something that's nice about this is like I said you really feel when there's a compaction layer and it's hard to get that spade in the ground but the other thing is I can kind of pull this up and pull that row back and I can start to look and see if I can get some insight into how it was what conditions were like when it was planted and so here you can see that this spot here this is crumbling apart really well but right here I'm actually able to pull this row apart right where it was planted and so you can see that there was maybe it was a little bit wet, maybe the down pressure was too high, uh, perhaps a combination of them, uh, but we definitely have some si sidewall compaction that could be affecting maybe why we don't have a plant coming up in this area. And so um, here, if I start digging around, I can look and see if there's actually a plant uh, that should be in this area. And it looks like I'm not finding one right here. Um, and this is a pretty big gap, so I'll actually dig up over here too. And see if I can find the plant that should be coming up. And so here it is. And actually there's another one. And so in this gap, we actually had two plants. They were really close together. And you can see that they both uh, got all twisted up underneath the ground and have started to try to leaf out underneath the ground. Um, so that can happen for a number of reasons, right? This was planted really early in April, so it was exposed to a lot of pretty harsh, cold, wet conditions that sat in the ground for a long time. The majority of the stand looks beautiful, so uh, it's pretty likely that a very small percentage of the seed is just going to have an issue coming up out of the ground. Uh, maybe a little bit more uh, than if it would have been planted in like really nice warm conditions. Um, but it just looks like we've lost a few plants because of this. And so here I'm able to pull this up and I can see that whole row here, right along there and pull it apart. Right where that plant is. Nice. And this one, you actually see, that's really interesting. You see how these roots are all totally parallel yep. to where that row was.